Hello viewers, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the country that you are watching this video from. In today's video, I'll be talking about CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele Biography, his education, his lifestyle, his family, his marriage, and also his controversy. So stay with me to the end of this video. If you are new to this channel, you are very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And also turn on the notification bell icon so as to get notified on time whenever a new video is published. Without wasting any more time, let's proceed. Emetiele was born on August 4th, 1961 in Lagos State, Nigeria. Talking about his education, he attended Ansa Udin Primary School and also Maryland Comprehensive Secondary School, both in Lagos State. He later got admission into the University of Nigeria called Unsuka for his tertiary education, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in banking and finance. And later, he traveled out of Nigeria for his executive education at Stanford University, Harvard University, and also Wotan school of business he returned back to nigeria and started teaching as a lecturer at usuka where he taught finance and insurance lecture he later left usuka to port Harcourt. he worked briefly with vadafone before joining the central bank emefele had more than 18 years of experience in financial industry he served as group managing director and CEO. During that time, he was also employed by the Zenith Bank PLC. Emefele served as deputy managing director of Zenith Bank PLC in the year 2001. He was a founding member of Zenith Bank PLC management team. He also served as executive director in corporate banking, financial control and strategy planning all in Zenith Bank PLC in Nigeria and also Zenith Bank in Gambia. Emefiele was appointed as the governor of Central Bank in the year 2040, like I said earlier. While working in Central Bank, he oversees an interventionist currency policy during his first tenure that involved flooding in the foreign exchange markets. The Nigeria Senate granted him a second tenure in the year 2017. He is married to his lovely wife, Margaret Emefiele. They both have two kids, Pamichuku Emefiele Jr. and Andrew Olisheke Emefiele. Now let's talk about Emefiele's achievements. He was awarded the Vanguard Public Sector Icon of the Year, Commander of the Order of Nigeria, also known as Khan. Honorary Fellowship of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, International Monetary Fund, S Officials Member of the Board of Governors, University of Nigeria Unsuka awarded him International Islamic Liquidity Management Corporation, and many more. Emefiele initiated the following credit scheme Non Oil Export Stimulation Facility. The Accelerated Agricultural Development Scheme, National Food Security Program, Expert Development Facility, Paddy Aggregation Scheme, and Core Borrowers Program. On 7th November 2017, it was reported by Premium Time that Emefiele is a shareholder in three companies and was still linked to one until July 2017. According to reports, Emefiele is partly the owner of an offshore firm, British Asset Management, also known as SA, owning 50,000 Biera share with Jim Ovia. This company started in Switzerland in the year 2017. He also owned part of Aviation Asset Management Limited, located in Bermuda, and was established in the year 2009. He allegedly has to his name 49% of the shares. Now let's talk about Emefiele's controversy. 
controversy involving the CBN governor. He was accused of mismanagement of CBN fund, a 500 billion naira theft. Shortly before his confirmation by the Senate for his second term in May 2019, a damning audio conversation, which was made by Sharia reporters, contained an exchange among the deputy governor, the director of finance, Dayo Arowa Segbe, and Emmanuel Ukeje served as an aide to the CBN governor. Strong calls came from some quarters demanding his sack on heels of his leaked conversation in response. Director of the corporate communication while admitting that there was a conversation among some of the executives of CBN said that what was published by the media outlet is a selection conversation. As a matter of fact, it denied any private investment anywhere and any loss of money. Consequently, the president did not yield to the appeal for the sack of Godwin in Mephiele. Instead, he reappointed him for the second term. Godwin and Mephiele allegedly sabotaged government policy on importation in the year 2020. 9.5 million dollars reportedly went missing under its wash in the year 2021 and many more. Godway and Mephiele estimated net worth is over 20 million dollars. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a super thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Turn on the notification bell icon so as to get notified on time whenever a new video is published. I will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. This is Light News Media. I will see you in the next video.